The doctor's office is rarely anyone's favorite place, especially when it involves needles, and that fear can be even more intense for our children. According to research from the CDC, as many as two in three children and one in four adults have strong fears around needles. And this week's Technically Speaking report, local sense Gio Signares introduces us to a new piece of technology easing the pain and making the patient experience a lot easier. We've all personally experienced or seen the ways doctors try to distract and take your mind off the pain and anxiety those pricks can cause. Well, now the process looks a little different in parts of Nicholas Children's Hospital. It's one of the few children's hospitals in the country and the first in South Florida to offer this technology. We got a first-hand look. In three, two, one, now. Behind this virtual reality headset exists a whole new world. In one case, it's under the sea. In another, it's a stroll across the forest. All of it courtesy of SmileyScope, a new device being used at Nicholas Children's Hospital to help alleviate what can be the hardest part of a doctor's visit. So we started in the emergency department for needle sticks, for IVs, and it was so effective that the word spread. That word of mouth reaching Soyla Muñoz and her daughter Carolina, jumping at the chance to share how they feel about this innovative technology. Who wants to talk about SmileyScope first? Me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> After putting the headset on, the patient is transported into that virtual world while the procedure is being done by the clinician, engaging all the senses and fully immersing them in what's a choreographed experience. It lowers anxiety, fear, and pain. I felt like I was in there and I wasn't scared. The, the only hard thing is to keep her not from walking and run, wandering around because she wants to get the kitties and get the bubbles and get the green bread that she says from the cafe, uh, cafeteria. Um, I, she's in love with it. SmileyScope was implemented into the hospital in March. It comes preloaded with a variety of content and is made for kids ages four and up, according to the company. Parents have the choice whether to use the VR headset. But since its introduction, clinicians say the results have been unanimously positive. It's the best. Why is it the best? Because I used it and, and, it, and it was cool. It's so rewarding to watch. Ready? They honestly forget that they're in a hospital room. Um, and it also makes the job of the clinician a lot easier when it's time to do an invasive procedure like starting an IV or drawing labs. No matter how great of a mother I am, I can't distract her eyes and ears. So imagine them taking blood with a little prick no matter how good I am at hugging her and telling her all these wonderful words of affirmation, she's still seeing that. So the fact that I don't have to hold her down or someone has to come in and help me hold her down and she panics and she cries and she loses a sense of trust and comfort, that's huge, that's everything. SmileyScope is being used not just here in Miami, but across the U.S., U.K., Europe, United Arab Emirates, and Australia. At Nicholas Children's, the hospital has about a dozen of the SmileyScope headsets right now, and several rooms are actually permanently outfitted with different immersive experiences. In the studio, Technically Speaking, I'm Gio Insignares.